Hello people, so today we are going to do the question divisible sum pairs. So let's get right into it. So the question says you are given an array of n integers and a positive integer k. Find and print the number of i comma j pairs where i is less than j and r i plus r j is divisible by k. So what this question simply means is we are given a list and we need to find the number of pairs where uh, both the elements sum up and the sum of those elements is exactly divisible by k and the catch uh, the small catch is that i should be less than j so let's see this for example we are given an r 1 2 3 4 5 6 and k is equal to 5 so there are only three pairs that meet this criteria that would be 1 comma 4 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 6 as this sums up to be 5 and as uh, that is of course divisible by 5 and this 2 and this sums up to be 10 which is divisible by 5. So we'll do this question by two methods one straightforward method and the simple method and other would be a one-liner list comprehension. So let's get right into it. So first we need to take a variable which will keep track of how many pairs we have found till now. Then to find the pairs we need to take a nest nested loop that would go from uh, for i in range n and then the loop inside it would be from, from i plus 1 to n and as you'll see i plus 1 to n and this way we'll uh, generate all the pairs where i is less than j so here we need to check if r i plus r j modulo k is equal equal to 0 then we will just increase the count and for the final we just need to return this count so just to explain it once again first we take a count variable and initialize it to 0 then to find the pairs uh, where i is less than j we um, do this nested loop so one is the normal loop which loops through the all the indexes in n and then uh, for j in the second loop we go from i plus 1 to n so as you would imagine we will only uh, look at the pairs where i is less than j and inside this we just need to check if uh, the element at ith position and the element at jth position sum up and are divisible by k and if they are we just increase the count by 1 so let's try running this code yeah and as you would imagine all the test cases will pass for sure it's just taking a little time sometimes yeah so as you can see all the test cases passed so now let's get on to the next method and for the next method we are going to use a list comprehension so let's see how that will work So, for the list comprehension method. So, first let's take uh, just a list of numbers as we saw in the example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and let's take a number k. So, I'm taking the same values as they were in the example so we can check if our method is accurate or not. So, now we need to generate a list of all the pairs. So, we, we are going to use a list comprehension. So, we'll go for i in range len of nums let's do some one thing and let's extract this to just n so we don't have to type that again and again so for i in range n and for j in range i plus 1 to n so what this means is think of this as in uh, as the outer loop and this as the inner loop and for every uh, loop we can decide which value what value we want to append to a new list so for now let's append nums i comma nums j so this will uh, through this method we'll get all these uh, pairs that are for which i is less than j so we got l uh, sorry i forgot to print it print
print L. And as you see, we got all the pairs. Now we need to see which one of these pairs are divisible by K, the sum of which of the pairs is divisible by K. So let's just format it a bit. And we just need to add a condition if nums i plus nums j is divisible by k that would mean modulo k is equal to 0 then uh, then just include those pairs and as you can see we got the three pairs 1 comma 4 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 6 and that's what we got so as you would imagine the length of this list would be your answer and as you can see we'll get the answer as 3 and that is exactly what the answer for this example was so let's uh, just go over this list comprehension once again so let's just uh, put this on the next line too so how do you uh, you might want to imagine it as for i in range n is the outer loop and this, this one is the inner loop and if this condition is matched inside the inner loop then we'll append this value to, to a new list and that's how the new list gets formed so let's just copy it to make it our solution so what we need to do is we just have to return this no not exactly this but we just have to change some names and then we need to return the length of this because we need to return the count of the pairs not all the pairs so that is a one liner and as you can see the test cases will all pass yeah so something I want to say about uh, the list comprehensions is see in this case it still wasn't very complex enough still if you have like uh, multiple loops in a list comprehension and then a condition don't uh, don't ever forget to format it in a way that it's readable and if you you have to do something more crazier and like another loop and more conditions then please do make sure that you're just going the normal route and not doing the list comprehension because readability is more important for sure and uh, list comprehensions are also often more uh, more efficient than uh, this normal loops because all the elements processing uh, happens at uh, one time so uh, that's it for this question thank you for watching and if you liked it please do like the video and also for more content like this uh, subscribe to my channel for sure thank you